Today's tune is called The Coloring Jig. It was a request by Rebecca Dudley, who wrote me directly, which is the fastest way uh, to get me to do something, because I like to have a clean inbox, and so I want to record it so I can delete the email. Um, the tune is a little complicated, as Rebecca noted in her note. Why? The, is, I, you'll see in a moment that I'm using the version on the session.org uh, added by Jack B. And the tune is written in A minor. And as it's on the staff, the C's are natural, the F's are natural. And that poses a bit, but there's some times when the G's are sharp. And so that's going to require us to use the half pull to kind of get to that, that G sharp. And because of the, the, the simplicity of the whistle, it makes it a little bit difficult to get it right every time. So I'll show you maybe a little bit how to do that. Let me play the tunes first part, break it down as per usual, and then we'll do the second part. The second part has more of the half pulling that's going to be necessary, but we'll get at least one practice of it in the first part. Okay, first phrase, E, A, 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 B, C, B, E, E, E. Again. Next phrase, D, C, B, A, A, B, C, B, G, E, E. Putting the two together. There's a pickup note D, and then it's the same as the first phrase E A A A B C B E E E. So let's do the three together. So this is where we're going to have to do the half holding. The final phrase, D, C, B, A, G sharp, A, B, A, A, A. So what do we do? When you see the G with the little sharp sign next to it, I, I just kind of half hole it. And it's, it's almost never perfect. And playing it fast, it's really hard. So this is going to be one of those cool jigs that you're not trying to whip through but you're letting each note speak for itself. So it'll be Again, it's going to sound a little bit different each time. It's an art, not a science. So can we put the first two uh, part together? I think we can. Something like that, maybe.
Now, the second part is also a little bit tricky because it's going to it involves um, C natural, so that's the C, and more of the half holy. So I'm going to teach it as best I can. Again, art, not a science. Second part. I've never played this tune before. First phrase, C, C, B, A, B, E, G, 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 G. You could, if you were more of an adept at the whistle, do a C roll. Something like that. I don't know. I don't know. Um, so now here, this is one of these crazy places. Sometimes it's going to work, and sometimes it's not, and that's okay if it doesn't. Um, you could play it just as a regular G. I did one of them is G sharp. Because so it'll be I'm gonna say it this way. G sharp A G E D C B G sharp A B E. What that could sound like You can see the difficulty because you're trying to go, you're, you're bump, kind of like bumping off the G sharp to the A, going down, and you're kind of going right back, like trying to get it back to half full. Really hard. I don't know that I could do it every time, but I'm not the best, so that's okay. You could be better. Uh, please be. Um, so it'd be something like, or like you could play, I, I don't like that. Um, That's a little bit nicer, I think. That it's just going to take practice and feeling it. I can't. There's no easy way. It's just going to. I don't think it'll take you ten thousand hours, but it's going to take a little bit of time. So, like the first two phrases put together. We'll see. We'll see what we can do with it. Um, the next phrase, A, G sharp, A, B, A, B, C, B, C, E. That's a little bit easier. And then it's the same ending as the first part. So the second part played slowly.
Okay, so let's put it together one time through and then I'll play it maybe with variations. So for a first time learning it to teach it or teaching it and learning it at the same time, uh, it's a good tune. You get some interesting techniques in there, and it's good to work on that, you know, finding the inner rhythm of the tune, playing the jig, not at warp speed, but you know, sort of cool and melodic. You do some type of nifty interpretive dance if you take a notion to do so. So uh, I enjoyed it to your practice, and I don't know if that's a transitive verb, I enjoin you to practice and entrust it to your care.